Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my whole collection project pan update. Um, I know it's been like a month <laughs> since I posted my last video. I've just been really busy with, you know, real life things. As most of you know, this is not my full-time job, obviously. So yeah, but it is my hobby and I really like talking about makeup and reviewing new products and using what I already own um, and trying to find a balance between like buying new things and using what I already have which is kind of a challenge but I've been doing pretty good so let's just get into it um, I think in the last video I mentioned the way I'm going to format these videos is I'm first going to tell you what I'm rolling out of the project and then I'll try and quickly go through everything else because it's going to be repetitive every update of course because if I'm not rolling something out then I've talked about it already. So let's get into it. I do have three things that are rolling out which is not great but I mean, it's better than nothing. And one of them is actually an MT, and I'm very excited about it, even though it's not a full-size product, and you'll see that very shortly. So let's just jump in. The first thing I am rolling out is actually um, this right here. I'm looking at my Excel sheet, obviously as I always am. It's to the side of me and I forgot to put my glasses on so <laughs> anyway. Um, it's this, my Makeup Forever Trio. So actually the, the product that was officially in this project was the blush which I believe, did I write this down? Yeah, it's the shade B308. I think they have just reformulated all of their powders, like their single powders because they're in the new section at Sephora and they have like each sorry I have the window open so you're gonna hear planes, trains, automobiles, everything, boats, <laughs> I don't know yeah so yeah it was a blush and they reformulated these so I can't no I can no longer speak to the formula of these products because I don't want you guys to be confused because I haven't actually tried the new ones but these old versions of their powders I loved they were this is the thing with Makeup Forever like they make really good products but they keep redoing them for some reason and everyone liked them the way they were so anyway I love all three of these this um, matte powder I honestly don't use that much because I don't use a lot of powder um, but when I have used it like it's been fine it's not like cakey or anything but the blush is what I'm rolling out of the project so technically I'm rolling out this whole palette even though it's very you know travel friendly it's very convenient I also love this shade which I intended to use as a contour but I don't really contour so I've been using it as a bronzer and I've loved it um, yeah so anyway, it's rolling out. I only had a 15 use goal on this. I have it written down that I've used it 16 times, but I'm pretty sure it's even more than that. I just didn't track it every time. So this I consider well loved. I don't know if you can see on camera, like it actually looks, it just had a weird, message pop up <laughs> on my camera. I don't know. As you guys know, I don't know how to use this camera. I just press record and hope that it works. So I don't know what's going on. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, it looks, you know, more used than it was before, which is good, which is the goal with everything in this project. So I'm going to put this back. The next thing I'm rolling out is a primer. It's my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, the Universal Sheer, like the original one. So I technically did actually hit pan on this because I keep, you know, using, I use the brush that comes with it to when I apply this product. 
has a little spatula on the end and it's easy to just keep going into the same hole because then it doesn't you know pick up a big chunk of the product which I like because I don't think you need to use a lot of this at once. I've mentioned before I don't feel like this is really that poor filling um, but I don't hate it like it feels nice once you blend it out. I just don't feel like it does that much. If you're looking for a pore filling primer specifically, I don't know if this will do it for you. Um, but I, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, but it is rolling out. I have used this, I've written down 10 of the 10 times. That's probably accurate because I haven't been wearing makeup like in general for a while which is also why I haven't filmed in a bit but yeah rolling this one out and the third thing is my empty and I don't know I'm very proud of this I even told Josh today I was like I finished a product and he was like okay <laughs> like you have you know 50 million other ones to finish anyway it was this uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, but you guys might know I have a lot of setting sprays. I am on a setting spray no buy. Um, I have technically been on that since last year, but I broke the rule. <laughs> and I've gotten setting sprays from Boxy Charm or what is now Ipsy, so it's not like you know very serious no buy. But I'm trying to not buy any setting sprays because I have so many. Anyway, I finished one. This um, Urban Decay All Nighter I've mentioned before, like um, long lasting setting sprays are not what I'm really into because I have really dry skin. I prefer a setting spray that's going to make me look more dewy. Um, but I didn't take this and I actually think it does work. I did mention before like it does like leave a film on your face but I think that's the intent because that's how it keeps like your makeup on all night. So yeah I'm not gonna repurchase this. Um, I actually do have the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray which is like a long lasting setting spray so if I ever like I don't know have to go to a wedding or an event I'll use that one but yeah this one seems to be a good choice if you're looking for a long-lasting setting spray I'm sure this is not news to anybody this <laughs> Urban Decay All Nighter has been around for forever but it was the first time I tried it when I got this this is actually a deluxe size sample it's not even like a travel size I got it in a sample bag from Sephora so I didn't even buy it technically so anyway yeah it's empty there's like maybe like a drop in here I don't know if you can hear that but the last time I used it it was doing that thing where it just like foams onto your face so I know it's done and this will go into my empties. Yeah, so everything else in this project I'm still working on. I'm gonna try and go every go over everything quickly because like I said, I'm gonna have the same thoughts that I did in the other videos. Um, so the first thing, I'm just going now in like alphabetical order because I have my Excel sheets sorted by category. I didn't mention in the beginning um, my rule although I broke this rule by accident, and you'll see why in a m minute. Um, but my rule for this project is that I'm only working on uh, maximum two things in the same category. So for cream blush, I am at my max. I have this Freck Beauty Cheek Slime in the shade Fever Dream. This product I have to be careful with because it's, well, it's very pigmented at the beginning, but I do feel like it doesn't last that long. I think that's this product I'm thinking of. Anyway, um, so I've used this five out of the ten times, so not bad. Um, but I'm going to keep this in, although it's not really a fall shade to me. It's a very bright red, so 
yeah, we'll see. But anyway, it's staying in this project, you know, on paper. Um, my other cream blush was a new product when I rolled it in. The Danessa Myricks Golden Hour. Wait, is this shade Golden Hour? I think so. The Yummy Skin like blushes, I think the shade is Golden Hour. And I really like this. It's another one of these vibrant shades that I really like. Um, this one I've used only once. That doesn't seem right. I feel like I've definitely used this more than once. Anyway, I only have a five use goal on this, so I'll just leave it. But there's this one to work on as well. Um, then on to powder blushes. So I just mentioned I'm rolling out this one. So I only have one powder blush left in this project. It's my Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush Duo. This was also a new product when I rolled it in. And it's the shade Cosmic Coral. This one I really like. I wasn't sure if I would. Um... But yeah, it's really nice. And I love both shades, like on their own or mixed together. Really like this one. I'm just keeping it in the box because, I don't know, it's prettier <laughs> in the box. But I've used this one two out of the five times. So, yeah, not much longer to go on that one. My concealer... Yes, I only have one concealer in this project. It's my Maybelline Age Rewind. I've used this six of the ten times. Um, the last two times I used this, though, I didn't even have to roll it up because there's so much product, like, in the sponge tip that I just kind of, like, dab it on my finger and, like, spot treat or, like, put it under my eyes. So, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I like this product. Um, yeah, I'm fine to keep this in as my concealer, and I, did I say I've used it six of ten times, pretty sure. So yeah, this one will be staying in this product. This will be in here for the whole year. <laughs> um, the Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms palette. I've mentioned this every update. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. It's just super easy and everyday and blends really nice. I love the undertones, even just on like the browns. Um, I know they're basic and Too Faced has done this many times, but it just works in this format. Anyway, so I did have a goal to use this palette 20 times and I think it's because I envisioned myself using this in conjunction with other palettes but since you know since the intro of this project i've learned like i don't like to use many palettes at a time when i'm doing eyeshadow i like to focus on one palette and challenge myself to use the color story of that one palette so i haven't been doing that but that being said i've used this five five times so yeah it's gonna be in here <laughs> I do try to use this um as other than eyeshadow so I've used this shade as a highlighter and this as a blush and I loved it like that too I just don't think of doing that often because like you see I have so many actual blushes actual highlighters to use that I'm not gonna you know, be like, oh, I better reach for that eyeshadow palette to use that highlighter. So, anyway. But I'm fine keeping this in because, like, on days where I want to wear eyeshadow, but I don't want to do something, like, super special, I guess, then I have this to just do a quick look that I know I'm going to like. So, that's staying in. <clears throat> My other palette is this one the ColourPop Harry Potter collab um, I think I only have a five use goal yes I have a five use goal on this and I've used it twice 
this is what it looks like it's a huge palette um the next time i use this palette i have told myself i need to do a green look so i need to focus on these because i've already used this palette once before rolling it into this project where i used like these like red orange ones and then the time after i did a very neutral look with like the basic shades I've done a blue look with this, which I didn't love, but I wore it out and I got two compliments. So I was like, okay, I guess it was a good look. I think it's just me that like, I'm not, whenever I wear blue, I'm not sure about it. Like, I feel like I'm always questioning, does this look too like 80s makeup <laughs> or is it nice? So I don't know. But yeah, I do need to use the green shades when I use this palette again. And yeah, I mean this, I have a whole video on this palette if anyone cares. I think the Harry Potter collection is still available. Um, I think it was on sale the last time I checked. But yeah, I, I like this palette. It's just, I have so many palettes <laughs> in projects. So yeah, three more uses to go on this one um the next thing okay the foundations this is where i made a mistake last time and i accidentally rolled in another foundation um and i don't know why i did that well i think it's because i forgot that i had this product in this project which is my tarte empowered hybrid gel foundation oh this is a product and I might do a video on this, like, products I'm going to declutter at the end of the year, even if they're not done, because they're just so old. So this is one of them. Um, I have used this four times, but my goal is to use it up. And I don't know if you can see, there's basically half of the jar left. So that's not going to happen within a year at the rate that I use foundation, which is very rarely. Um, but it just, I might have to let go of this one simply because of the age. This is the oldest foundation in my collection. So yeah, um, but I do like it still. Like it's fine. The formula hasn't changed as far as I know. I don't know, it kind of smells, like it doesn't smell bad, but it's like the fragrance got stronger, so that might not be a good sign, but anyway, that's staying good. Um, yeah, and if I don't use too much of it, I can use it more like a skin tint, which is more like a product that I'm into, so we'll see what happens. But then, for some reason, last update, I rolled in this Fenty Skin Tint. So I don't know if it's because I forgot that I had this in or if I thought a skin tint is different than a foundation. But no, I sh like skin tints, foundations, tinted moisturizers, they're all labeled foundations in my inventory. So I should consider them like that in projects. Um, so I don't know what to do about this. Because I haven't even used this once, apparently. Although I feel like I have. <laughs> anyway, my goal was to use this 10 times. But I think I'm putting this back. Yeah, because if I have this in, along with this and another product I'm about to tell you about, I'm never going to reach for this. Be not because I don't like it. I actually, this is one of my favorite like complexion products in my collection. Um, I just don't know why I rolled it in because I don't feel like I need to use it up. Like I already know that I love it. Um, the product I do want to focus on is this one, the Pure Lease BB Cream. I've mentioned this many times before. This has SPF 40 in it and the expiry date on here is, I guess if the date is it month, day, year? If so, it expires April 7th, 2024. So I'd really love to use as much of this as I can before it expires. I actually really like this product. I do feel like 
it's very I guess dewy and even that's coming from me like someone with dry skin like I'm someone that wants to look dewy but this feels like I don't know kind of like glycerin-y on the face but I still I still like it I'm just saying if you have oily skin probably you will not like this this like BB cream I feel like they have so many different versions so I should say this one is the ageless glow version in case anyone's wondering but yeah I am happy to keep using this um, I especially like that there's SPF in it and then I don't have to use too many products on my face at the same time so I'm going to focus on this one and put this one away because I know I like this oh my perfume okay I'll talk about my fragrance at the end because I forgot it in my bedroom as usual <laughs> highlighter so I am at my cap on cream and powder highlighters this one I think I rolled this in last time the milk supernova um, what is this actually called holographic stick the shade is supernova I actually love this and I wasn't sure if I would but I feel like whatever like the base shade of this is it just seems to work with everything I'll try and swatch it um, see how pretty and yeah I just I really like this I've actually I haven't been putting this directly on my face I use a stippling brush and I just pounce it on the product and then I blend it in and I really like it like that it's a very like I want to say it's like a thin formula but it's still like glossy sometimes glossy means like thick and greasy but in this case it's just very thin and light and I like that for a highlighter so um, yeah, I only have one more use to go. I should have just worn this today, but I forgot. Anyway, that will be done next update. Um, oh, my other cream highlighter, this one. This is the Tem2 Liquid Glow. This was like a boxy charm collab, so it says boxy charm on it um i like this also it's just not as easy to use as a stick or a powder highlighter so i don't reach for it that much but i found the best way i like to use it is with my finger it's just a nice like you know typical champagne highlighter shade so it goes with pretty much every look that i do this one I've actually used this four of the five times also, so this will probably be done next time too. Um, I considered trying to mix this in with the foundation. I haven't tried that yet, but I feel like this might be a little too glowy to be a foundation mixer. It is quite highlightery, so I don't know. We'll see. But there's some, like this has so much product like I don't know how much more um, progress you would see on this um, on to powder highlighters it's the same too since the beginning I have my Mac extra dimension skin finish in double gleam another highlighter I really like it's just a nice basic shade it's not too blinding, but it's, I don't know, it's not that subtle either. Um, I really like it. I swatched it right over the milk stick, so I don't know how well you can see it, but a nice like everyday highlighter, I feel. So that one I have used six of the ten times. Pretty good. This one the hard candy rose gold highlighter this is a mini um i know the big size is like this big so even the mini i feel is like a full size highlighter but i love this highlighter actually and i've used this i've only used this one four of the ten times 
Um, maybe because I don't feel that it might go with everything. Because it is a strong rose gold shade. But whenever I put this on the face, I just love how it looks. So, yeah, there's that. Fine to keep that one in. And then for lip gloss. Oh, so one of the lip glosses, I also forgot that one. I'll have to go get it. It's the Marc Jacobs Forbidden Fruit. I was wearing that today, so it's in my purse. But then I put this on. <laughs> um, yeah, that one I've used six of the ten times. And the other gloss is my Lethal Cosmetics Lumen lip gloss in the shade Nova. This is one of my favorite lip glosses in my collection. I love the shade. I love the formula. It's more like, I've said this before, it's more like a lip oil than it, like any of the lip oils I have. I feel like this one is actually a lip oil, but it's called the lip gloss. Anyway, it's great. I love it with the lip liner in my Shot My Stash. Just like a nice nude lip liner with this over top is a very like everyday go-to for me. Um, so... Oh, I, I've used this nine of the ten times. I should have worn this today. And then I could have rolled it out. But yeah, so this will definitely be rolled out next update. And then this, so the product I'm wearing. I was like, I need to use that product. And I figured today was a good day because I'm wearing only one eyeshadow. <laughs> Um, this is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade 01. It's obviously just a mini. Um, yeah, it's just, I've, again, I've mentioned this in other videos. I used to only wear red lipstick. Like, if I was wearing a lip, a lip product, it was red. But since I started wearing, like, face makeup and eye makeup, I hardly ever reach for reds anymore. Because I'm just worried, like, they'll look too, too much, you know? I feel like red, like, well, what I'm wearing today. I would wear red when I'm wearing, like, one or two eyeshadow, like, neutral shades. Or nothing, or no eyeshadow, and just mascara. That's when I would wear red. And that's rare, because I love playing with eyeshadow. So... Anyway, all that to say, I've only used this once, but I only have a 5 use goal. So, we'll see. Um, I do love this shade of red, specifically this very blue tone red. I just need to reach for it more. Uh, and now it's becoming like, it's going to be fall soon, and I don't know. Maybe I can mix it. Anyway, I'm going to try and use this as much as I can <laughs> before, you know... It's not summer anymore. Um, yeah. And then for my powder. So this one is kind of exciting. I've used this 7 of the 10 times. This is a mini of the KVD Locket setting powder. And um, I mentioned in my last video, right? That I rolled out. Did I skip something? I really hope not. Last update, I think, I rolled out the other powder that was in this project, which was a mini of the Becca Hydra Mist. And because I was focusing on that one, I didn't touch that this one at all. But since I've used this seven times, so I'm very proud. Um, I actually have learned to use powder in a way that works for me, which is just kind of in this area where I feel like my pores are more visible and because I have dry skin I don't like to put powder like I don't set my face with powder so really I only put it here even under my eyes I don't like powder so these little mini powders are really good <laughs> to have in my collection actually um, I do have some full-size ones too but anyway I've used this 7 of the 10 times and I actually have been liking it for the purpose that I'm using it in. So this is fine to keep in. And yeah, actually that was the last product. <laughs> so let me get my perfume and my lip gloss just so we can 
complete everything and then I will roll in three products right to replace this with because um, I didn't mention this at the beginning but this project um, I want to be working on 23 products all the time for the year of 2023 <laughs> I probably should have said you know the purpose of this at the beginning but that's what it is so yes I will be back with those products okay quickly here is my fragrance I have hiccups. <laughs> this is how my fragrance. Oh my god. This is how my fragrance is looking. It's the Lancome Idal. Um, as you can see, I still have. I still have a ways to go. Um, but it's looking better than it has in the last update. In the last couple of updates. So I have actually used this 24 times <laughs> and that's how it looks and that's how it looks. I this was full when I rolled it in and my goal was to use it up because I thought that was gonna be super super easy but apparently no it isn't. So yeah, still keeping this one in. Oh my god. And then the lip gloss I didn't, I had to go get it from my purse. Oh my god, I'm sorry about my hiccups, <laughs> but I have to keep filming. Um, the Marc Jacobs Forbidden Fruit. I love, I love this lip gloss in the summer because it's like a nice corally shade, although it's very sheer when you put it on. I have used this six of the ten times. So yeah, four more uses on that one. <laughs> oh my god. And then I was doing some calculations and I was like, how come I only have 17 products in this project when I was supposed to, I'm supposed to have 23. So I added another six <laughs> products to my collection. Technically three because I rolled up, I rolled out three, but now these are the new products. So for concealer, I only had one. <laughs> The Maybelline Age Rewind. So I'm rolling in this one from Rose Ink. This is the, I don't know, it just says concealer. I have the shade LX040 and I remember not liking this shade for my under eyes. So I think this will be my, this will be my spot concealer and the Maybelline will be for my under eyes because this is actually, I didn't say, I think before, this is the Dark Circle Treatment Concealer and it's very light so it's more an under eye shade and this one is like a bit too yellow tone for my skin so I'm hoping it'll work as a spot concealer because this was not cheap <laughs> and yeah, I'd like to get used on it. So happy I rolled this one in. I did roll in another another powder so I'm back to having two loose powders in my collection. I've actually never used this, never used this before and I've had it for forever. The Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. This is the one that smells like peaches. Like look, it still has the tab on it. So I'm hoping it's still like nice and fresh. I definitely don't need a mattifying powder of all things, but I'll try to use this one the way I use the locket and see how I like it. If it really doesn't work for me, I can pass this on. Um, then I rolled in two brow products and it's actually very exciting because the two brow products in my everyday makeup drawer are actually not in any projects. I've just been using them because I rolled them in to my shop my stash, I suppose. But now I ha I'll have two products I'm actually working on. The first one is my NYX Lift and Snatch. I have the shade Ash Brown. And I remember really liking this when I first got it, it's a brow pen. So, you know, I have to be a bit careful, but it is a very fine 
line if you can see that and yeah i'm just hoping i still like this because i have colored my hair since i use this and i used to get really annoyed with brow products uh, for brunettes because they always pulled very very red on me but now i actually have red tones in my hair so the ones i didn't like before are working for me now so we'll see about this but yeah oh i didn't say i didn't say the use goals um i guess yeah 10 uses on the concealer the powder yeah 10 on use on this one too since i have 10 on the other 10 on the brow pin and the other brow product i rolled in is perfect because it's a clear brow gel this is called i don't know what it's from rose ink i guess they don't they don't put the full name of their products on their they don't put the full name on the product so it just says eyebrow gel in the shade in the shade oh my god i'm sorry i am annoyed with myself with the shade fill 01 so it's the clear one oh this looks actually kind of like a pomade because it's like kind of you know white how's that gonna go on we'll have to see how i feel about this but i can use these two together which is why i'm glad they both got rolled in then i rolled in another fragrance which is fine because i only have one in this project and it's just a sample this is toca julieta i i don't know why i'm showing it to you <laughs> it's clear um i don't remember if i like this let's try it Ooh, that is nice. It's floral, but fresh and not like too powdery. Okay, this could be good. I remember um, Kathleen Lights really liked this perfume, Julieta. So we'll see. I don't like, um, I know her favorite perfume. Her favorite perfume was Gucci Guilty, and I hate that perfume, so I don't know if I should be, you know, taking her perfume recommendations, because I don't feel like we have the same um, preferences, but this one, I like that so far. Okay, we'll see. Um, yeah. Oh, there is one more product. <laughs> I rolled in a primer which is good because I rolled out the e.l.f. one and it's my VDL Lumi Layer Primer Fresh. This was in a project already, maybe even this project, <laughs> which is fine because I, whatever, I need to use it. I need to use my primers because I have way too many of them and this one is actually expired, it says on the bottle. It was already expired the last time it was in a project and I didn't find it did anything bad and I don't know why there's even an expiry date on a primer because there's no SPF or anything in it as far as I know. So yeah, that's fine. I will use this some more. I've already used about down to here. So yeah, I'm going to do a 10 use goal on this and see if it's still fine to use for one. I know I like it, so yeah. It'll just be good to get some use on some older products in my collection, which is the point of this project, to rotate through and make sure I am touching everything in my collection, especially things that are expired. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it wasn't too annoying with the planes and my hiccups and uh, I'm just annoyed because I finally have time to film and then all these things happen <laughs> when I'm trying to film. Anyway, um, and thank you so much to my new subscribers. I have gotten um, a few new subscribers lately. I think because of my like viral um, eyeshadow palette collection video. So I hope you like 
project pens also because that seems to be what I have time to film. I am also going to film my deck of panning and I'm also planning to do a like makeup reset. Like I shot my stash for the new season and yeah, we'll see. So anyway, I hope you like this video. I said that already. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!